You can see he hit the top hook. There he is. Oh, that's him. here and today we're gonna cover a video I get a lot of requests for and it's bait uh, this time of year we use pinfish uh, you can buy pinfish at a lot of the shops but today we're gonna show you how I catch them uh, there's a couple different ways today we're gonna go the most common way I do it hook and line uh, if I can get them in a cast net I love to do it I got my 12 foot barracuda net works great but sometimes when they're in deeper water like they are right now we go with the hook and line method and now right here we got the tsunami sabiki that's what I'm gonna use. It's faster than tying up a rig. You get a couple extra hooks, and we'll talk about it a little bit more during the video. And fish bites. Now you can use shrimp, you can use squid. Uh, the fish bites is something nice because you can just always have it with you. You always have some of these rigged up in your truck or ready to go, and when you need to go catch bait, you're ready to rock and roll. So I'm gonna get tied up, and we'll get all set up and get back with you in a minute. So we got our sabiki all tied up on the little bait rod. I'm using my Evic 2000 on my seven and a half foot uh, tsunami carbon shield and scissors work really good but if you don't have scissors you can definitely use pliers and we're just gonna kind of do a little bit of meal prep right now we're cutting them up into some little pieces you can see there's like a fabric inside of here and that's what makes it work so good it keeps that bait really really tight together so that the fish don't pick it off your hook so we got a couple of them ready we're gonna go ahead and bait up uh, the hooks now on the sabiki you got I don't know seven hooks or so I like to bait the bottom hook then I skip a hook and then I bait the next hook. And what this does is, say you get a bait right here, or you get a pinfish right there, you got another bait up here, so you might get one up here, but while the action's going on, a lot of times they'll bite the blank sabiki. And that's why I like using the sabiki over just a regular hook. All right, so we're just gonna flip right out. All right, there you go. Oh. I missed them. But that's all right, because that fish bite stays on there really good. We got him that time. Whoa, it's a fighter. That's a big pinfish. That is a giant pinfish. So that is what we're after. That one's a little big. Now, big redfish will definitely smoke that thing, but I'm actually gonna throw them back because I want a little bit smaller baits. There we go, that's a good one. Perfect pinfish. So now this is more the size we're looking for. Right there, beautiful pinfish. And that time you can see he hit the top hook and the bait is still perfectly right there. Hook's barely there, but we can knock out one finger. So we're just gonna pop that hook out and into the bucket he goes. Now, sometimes I'll throw a bubbler on the bucket, sometimes I won't. Right now, I got the live well in the truck, so we're just gonna try to get a few of them in there and go dump them in the live well. Oh, he's on it. There we go, pinfish on. Whoa, little, no way. We just caught a Mahara. Knocked our bait off. But Mahara on fish bites. Oh, I missed him but we know we still got our bait on there. Oh, here we go, fish on. Perfect pinfish. I'm gonna top hook this time. And go right back out with it. Oh, we just got hit. There he is. Stay on, stay on little pin. Ah! Another pinfish. Goes in there. Looks like I lost my top bait. 
There he is. Whoa, nice pinfish. Come on, buddy. Come on. Perfect pinfish. Big old redfish is gonna wanna slurp him up. Pinfish. Pinfish. Oh, that's a pig. Another species for us. Pig fish, that's some good candy right there. Him in there now, pinfish, pigfish, mahara. There he is. Pinfish, pinfish, and look at that right there. We talked about it happening and there it is. Now he ate just the sabiki. So I talked about it happening. Right there, that pinfish, perfect candy sized pinfish, ate just the sabiki. No fish bites needed on that one. But I'm sure that's what brought him in. Having some bait on there. Pinfish, come on. Perfect pinfish. All right guys, so we showed you how to get them. Um, I'm gonna do this for the next, I don't know, I'll probably get about 25 of them, then uh, we'll head out and go do some fishing. So I'll be back with you in a little while. So we got about 20 or 25 baits in the truck right now. Just looking to go fish for a little bit. Hopefully we'll catch some snook and redfish here for you in a minute. But before I do that, I wanna talk about where to catch these pinfish, because that's probably the most important part if you don't know where to go. Uh, right now, I'm at a private dock. I'm at my buddy's house. It's just a real easy, convenient way for me to catch bait. But you can do this at any bridge, dock, boat ramp, seawall. I mean, at the right time, all those sort of things can hold pinfish. Mangrove shoreline, anything. Uh, the biggest thing is don't spend too much time in one spot. If you're trying and you're not getting them, move on. Go try somewhere else, even if it's only a couple hundred feet away. Um, that's my biggest tip is move around till you find the bait. And then you'll start to kind of learn where they hang out at certain times of the year. So that's it for now. We're gonna go ahead, uh, hop in the truck. Uh, actually, we're gonna go home for a little while, but then we'll go do some fishing this afternoon and we'll get back with you. So we went home, hung out for a while, and we came back we're fishing these pinfish now. We're just gonna see if we can get a couple of reds or snook or a little something something on these pinfish. We're fishing them out here right now and we'll get back to you when we get a bite. There he is. No! Oh yeah, he's there. I thought he came up. That's not a bluefish. He's a heavy one. Yeah. He's coming at me though. What is going on? Why are they swimming straight at me? Swimming up current. Come on. There you go. All right. Watch you tangle, wrangle, tangle everybody. Probably will. We've got a good one on oh, out here. No. Got a good one on out here. Is he on you, Dave? He's coming in right on the corner. He's got his mouth. Here, pass, pass to me. Around the piling. Come on, other way. Come back through. There you go. You go around this way. No, no, you just drop your rod tip down. I'll go over you. Right? There you go. I'm out. The little, little guy. Little guy. Next 
perfect net job. Close, a little big. That redfish is 28 and a half inches long. That's a pinfish cruncher right there. He fell out, 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 he fell out. He fell out, because look at the net. Hang on, I gotta fix that. Wave. Dude, this fuck. <laughs> all right, all right, he should be good now. Keeper! I've never called a frigate. Logan, you take the rod. Granny, he's coming for you. Got him. Come on, buddy. All right, look at that frigate. Hi. So long to you too, you SOB. <laughs> hey, settle. Oh, you just trying to bite me on. <laughs> Thanks, Red. I think somebody dumped it live on him. Oh, man, he stinks. Dude. Hell, no spray, and that wasn't even interesting. It was just what do you got, Joe? We Catch got a frigate. Catch of the day. These things are insane. We're gonna let them go way over here. I thought he was going right back in the water. Gotta never cut the line. Always get them off so they don't get hurt.